Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In my previous video on Salesforce billing, we have seen how can we configure product to be billed on one of pages and recurring pages. Today we are going to move one step further and we're going to see how consumption based billing can be implemented using Salesforce billing. So here is the agenda that we had for our previous videos as well and we're going to have it today as well. So what is billing? What is Salesforce billing? End to end process, setting up accounting, working with rules and ways to build. All of the above like working with rules, setting up accounting, end to end process, what is billing that we covered in our previous videos. You can watch it in my channel. In ways to billing we have seen like how one of billing and recurring billing can be configured in Salesforce billing. Today we are going to cover consumption based billing right and then later on we'll be moving forward with the milestone based bill. So let's start what is consumption based billing. So consumption based billing is also known as usage based billing. You can also say it pay as you go. So that means like whatever you are paying you are paying for whatever consumption you have made. Okay. So that is what the consumption based billing means. Typically this consumption based product are configured to be built in this method are configured to be built in Arius. So whatever uh, products that we are configuring the billing of that particular products will kicked off once we have used them right without using we cannot charge it because then it will not become consumption based billing it will become advanced billing. Right? For example what are the examples right? so the first example is broadband connection there might be a possibility where uh, in past we have seen right whatever we are consuming we are paying for it right and the other thing is api calls so many of the platform provide us the services like we can use their services and as much as we use them we're gonna pay them right consider api calls right so if we are uh, accessing several apis which uh, which provides us some facilities so as much as we hit them UPI uh, with them API we got charge right here is the use case so ABSC corporation is a provider it offers various APIs for end user for consumption and they charge them against that usage ABC corporations offer SMS service API using which customer can send the SMS and they use Salesforce billing to configure this type of products and build them here is the example right so we have sms services so if we call the api for 1 to 100 between 1 to 100 time we got charge none if we hit api between 101 and 500 api calls we got charge one dollar per unit so per api call one dollar will be paying and between 500 to 501 to 10,000 will be paying 0.75 dollar per unit or will be charging them 0.75 per unit. Let's review this. Okay. So I am on my card but before going to card let me show you the consumption schedule. So whenever we are uh, in consumption based billing we are going to use this consumption schedule object and consumption schedule tiers or consumption tiers with this. So on a header level consumption schedule we have several fields like consumption schedule name, uh, what type of rating method, it's a tier base, the only method we have, uh, slab base and range basis. So slab base let's say we are having two tiers defined and let's say we'll, we'll come to it and uh, the related one. Okay, uh, Category rates that's the only one, billing term and billing term unit. So whatever we select over here let's say we call it one. And we call it month so that means whenever uh, order product gets created re related to the order product how many consumptions uh, how many usage summaries will get created so this will define those terms so let's say I have made it 12 over here and I am saying month so that means like it will create a consumption schedule with a one year of range right so how many year how many uh, numbers of user summary you want to create that defines over here uh, unit of measure call outs uh, like in which term we want to measure it and matching attributes also call out and we have provided the rules right those are necessary let's say if i'll move to related consumption rate 
So I have seen like uh, I have configured three tiers over here, like first starting from one to one zero one. So if you use one to hundred between any any of these, you get charge zero flat fee. If you if your consumption is 100 and 501 between 101 and 501 you get charge one dollar per unit if it is between 501 to 10001 you get charge 0.75 per unit now talking about that slave based part so let's say if i provide a usage of 150 right so first 100 dollar will be charged as none and then next 50 dollar will be charged as per unit that in case of the uh, rating method usage or uh, the type slab if you make it range then if i provide something like 150 then it will come up over here and it will be charged as one dollar each so that is how your consumption schedule and rates get defined now using product consumption schedules we can relate the product with this particular consumption schedule so what we have to do is we have to just create a junction record of product consumption schedule which will have only two fields right first is the product and the second is the consumption schedule now what i'll do is i'll click on this add product and i'll select this sms service and i'll click select now over here we can see view consumption schedule if you see this icon you can click this and you can see all the tiers being defined related to this particular product and where it comes from it comes from the product consumption schedule now if you are not seeing this what you might have to check is you have to go to install product setting you have to go to install package let's wait Let's configure this sale for CPQ1. Let's wait for a while. Lightning gets loaded. Let's wait. Meanwhile, let me show you the product, what we configured on the product. So all the same, all the things remain same for subscription one. Uh, this will be charged recurring. This is monthly, but this will become arrears, right? And that's where the change is and then you relate the product consumption schedule now over here in pricing and calculation tab you have to tick this enable usage based pricing tick box otherwise you will not be able to see this button as well as you will not be able to see the quote line consumption schedule and order product consumption schedule being created the other thing you have to be sure is use legacy calculator should be false otherwise you'll get an error while saving the product to cut. Now I'll just save this and I'll quickly take this order checkbox and I'll save it. That will kick off the order process and the order will get created. On this order, we'll be having our order product and on the order product, we'll be having a related list in which we can see this order product consumption schedule and related to that, will be able to see your order product consumption rate. These are the transaction data that gets created from the product, uh, from the consumption schedule and consumption rate. Okay. Over here, you see a usage got created, right? And it says it's the only usage that got created for the time span of 12 months. And that's being derived based on the consumption schedule that we have defined over here. Just show you based on this. If it is one, then we have sold it for one year and we would end up having 12 usage summary in case we have set this billing term as one, right? Right now we have set it at 12 months, so it will create a single usage summary. Now, over here, what we have to do is we have to define the matching ID, okay? So I have defined it as U S1. And what I'm going to do is I am going to auto product and now I'm going to hit new usage because now we want to add the usage. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll go to usage. I'll select the account. Let's say ABC Corporation. I'll put the US one as matching ID. 
I have to put this call out. Now I am purchasing it on or I'm using it on today. I'll make it processing date today and I'll make the quantity as 150. Now as per our schedules, right? So let's say I'm providing quantity as 150. What it will do is it will first for 100 quantity it will not rate it will not charge anything but for next 50 product, uh, quantity it will charge $100 per unit okay so let's just see that I'll make it 150 and why what I supposed to get over here is subtotal is 50 so let me just open this up and you see subtotal is 50 because for first 100 quantity we haven't got billed because that is a free of course now what I'll do is I'll add another usage right? and I'll add let's say 550. So I'll add US1, I'll add matching attribute callouts, I'll add this, I'll add the date as third of this month and new and I'll add the quantity as 550 or let's say let me add a 650 so now what happens is 150 quantity we have used now we are adding more 650 so total quantity becomes 800 so from those 800 first 100 got charged as zero then next 400 will be charged will be charged as 100 uh, one dollar each and then rest of them right so 100 plus 400 500 then those 300 will be charged with 0.75. So ideally what amount we should be getting is 400 units 0, for 400 units 400 USD and for next 300 unit we are going to charge 150 USD. Right? So let's see. Okay. I'll just add it. If I open this up, I am going to have this 625. And now let's see how it happened. Yeah. So the total quantity is 800, right? So let me just show you over here. So for we have entered quantity as 650 and previously entered quantity was 150. So 650 plus 150 became 800. So out of this 800, first 100 will be charged as zero. Next 400 will be charged as one dollar each, and remaining 300 will be charged as 0.75 dollar each. So now, if we do a calculation, let's say 100 into 0 plus 400 into 1 plus 300 into 0.75, which becomes 625, right? And that's the same thing we can see over here as well 625 is the unbuilt amount now if i make it more right it will be charged accordingly so once this orders products are having use usage schedule being added we can activate the order right we can create our invoices and we can go ahead with our bill so that is how the usage schedules can be used to configure the usage or consumption based bill Thank you very much for watching the video. If you haven't uh, subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel and also like, share the videos and share it with your individual group so that they can also learn. Thank you.